Hello everybody, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Matt Mercer effect. Who he is, what is the Matt, Mer Matt Mercer effect, why, and my thoughts and opinions on it as a whole. So, let's get started. So first off, who is Matt Mercer? Matt Mercer is a voice actor, he is the CEO of Critical Role, he is a dungeon master for Critical Role, and a bunch of other stuff. He's been on Dimension 20. He is the everything and anything at the moment for Dungeons and Dragons. He's the go-to man for D&D. Now the question you're probably asking yourself is why is there something called a Matt Mercer effect? Now Matt Mercer effect essentially just means according to Urban Dictionary the Mercer effect is what people call it when Fans of the show get into D&D carrying the expectation that their sessions should be at least as good or similar to what they've seen in the show. Not keeping in mind that the players, seen on Critical Role, have years of experience in both D&D and acting. So, that is what the Urban Dictionary gives us for the Matt Mercer effect. It is simply an effect that has been around since as long as Matt Mercer has been DMing games online, which is roughly 2015. What do I think of the whole thing? I think it's shit. I don't think Matt Mercer is shit. He's a phenomenal human. Never met him, but he seems incredibly nice and sweet and just purely wholesome. This has nothing to do with him. This is solely to do with the effect and the effect only. I'm going to call it the Mercer effect just to keep it a bit simpler. I understand the Mercer effect. I get why it's a thing. As a dungeon master myself, I felt this before. I tell myself, oh, well, you know, he's got such an elaborate story and it seems to be written so well and he produces this fantastic show that, you know, he has this story that goes once a week and I can't figure out what to write and I have mine once a month, if that. I'm not saying you're not going to experience it as a dungeon master. But it's shit that A, his name's attached to this, and B, you have this feeling, you know? No one wants to feel inferior to anyone. That's no one's passions or hobbies or dreams. And I know he wouldn't want anyone to feel inferior. There's a quote that I want to read from him, which I think speaks really well. And it says, Guys, relax. Your DM is kicking ass and is doing this for your enjoyment and journey. Appreciate that. Listen, build with them, and make this something unique. Abandon expectations and just have fun together as friends. I think that quote says a lot, considering that's from the Matt Mercer himself, the almighty Matt Mercer. He's just amazing. And, you know, it does suck when, you know, just you feel shit he <laughs> granted he's been playing DD for a while and not everyone likes the way he plays it just as much as not everyone likes it the way how you play it or how i play it everyone plays DD so differently for example i'm all about the acting and the storytelling and when i'm a player i love getting into character if that means changing my seating position wearing certain clothes or you know, changing the way I sound, all the way to, you know, having more story-based things and having those little elements that connect my backstory more than fights, I'm down for that. But that doesn't mean I don't want to fight occasionally. Now, Matt Mercer Effect is a struggling concept that most D&D players who watch Critical Role, know Critical Role, or even Dimension 20 wouldn't understand. The Matt Mercer Effect is quite challenging to kind of get rid of and I'm aware of that but I wanted to also talk about how this kind of came around this post was posted on the r slash dm academy on reddit so the post you have on screen I'm gonna read it out for you so it should be on your screen right now so as it says seeing stuff like this kind of breaks my heart Regardless of fact of the matter is our style of play is just that, our style of play. Every table is different and should be. 
if they just want to copy what we do, that's not very creative, nor what makes the game magic at the table. I do believe that it is important for any gaming group to discuss expectations early into a campaign so everyone can get on the same page and avoid dis dissociates. However, it is everyone's responsibility at the table to provide and add to the experience for everyone to enjoy themselves and the story, not just the DM. As I saw some comments below mention, you want a particular style of game. The level of commitment rests on your shoulders. Consolidate your style and wishes with those of the other players in DM. And somewhere in the unique mix, you will find your table's special style of storytelling. Need I also remind you that we are a table of professional actors and I've been DMing for well over 20 years. We have spent our lives training in particular skills that allow us to get as immersed in the character as well as enjoy doing it. Anyone can jump in as deeply should they wish to, but expecting that immediate level of comfort and interest is unfair and absurd. Do they want a deep, convoluted emotional story like Jet? <laughs> if I could read, that'd be so helpful. By expecting that immediate level of comfort and interest in some fair and absurd, do they want a deep, convoluted emotional journey like Scanlan? They better be able to bring it like Sam did, no than sit down and just have fun finding your own path. Plus, our style isn't for everyone. Hell, just scan the comments below to see how many folks don't like us. I play with different players, ran games with many different styles and focuses, and I can tell you, there is so much fun variety to ha how a TTRPG tabletop R role playing game can be played. They are limiting their chances to enjoy it by trying to play just like us. Anyway, I say the best course is having a very frank conversation about these things. Clearly say that your game will feel like your game, meaning you and the players together. And it's their responsibility to bring to the table what facets they want to see in it. Show them this post if it helps, in fact show them this message which is the quote I read out before. Anyway, so sorry, things like this are never my intent. It's a weird wild west these days. You're going to be great, friend. He said it perfectly. You know, it's your game and your style. The fact that you're trying to compare it so much to his is challenging. I'm not saying you're never going to do it, but you're not playing like him because you don't have his story. Some people play it more as a kind of, you know, dating simulator some play it as solely a fighting base some play it as a story with action and romance and passion and joy and some play like idiots you're gonna have all of the above and a combination you just gotta keep an eye on your players talk to your players chat with your players discuss with your players what they want ask them questions and be willing to be open with them because at the end of the day, if you're not willing to be open with your players about your limitations, then it's going to be challenging to make a good story. The Matt Mercer effect isn't going to go away for a while. I can see that. But I don't think it should be held to some high regard. You know, if you want to DM like Matt Mercer, then if your players are telling you that, then say to the players, all right, well, you need to be a player like Laura Bailey, like Travis Willingham, like, you know, Sam Briegel. Ashley Johnson, any of them. You can't be like Matt Mercer just as much as you can't be like the cast. Just as much as you can't be like the crew. You know, they are their own thing. It's cool to aspire to, you know, have a D D group like them, but don't aspire to take over their roles, to take over their passions and to take over their storytelling. Take inspiration, but don't take it. You know? The Matt Mercer effect is just insane it's stupid and it sucks that you know it only breaks his heart that he knows that he's created this effect but it hurts the dms all around the world just talk to your dm that's all <laughs> but anyway i'm going to end this video here hope you all enjoyed it and please check out all of our other D, &D videos we have a DD campaign called npc so go check that out we also have a D, &D tips and tricks uh, playlist which you can also check out but yes anyway thank you all so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video it's okay if you roll a nat 1 or a nat 20 either way we still love you bye <laughs>